Niger State Fire Service, there has been a fire accident along the Niger Delta East-West Road. We need your services right now, right now. I don't know. The boy is the one who is on the soft. Which one I carry? I like officer. At the normal level. No? Normal level. You all know they pass normal level. <laughs> oh, yeah, do, 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 do. Uh, officer. Shapali, Shapali. This thing where they do now, no, you know, work. Okay, we, get, we get new organ now. You know, work. Officer, go fence for you. You know, work. Our new organ is very straight. You know, understand what they tell you. I mean, where they, where they do the work, hey. man, they tell you. Sir, what's going on there? Sir, nothing. They are my friends. They are just gisting. Gisting and jig. Oh, but well, oh. Uh, yeah, bro. My friend, will you leave this place? Good day, young man. Good afternoon, please. Park well and pull the trunk of your car. You said there's nothing in my car. Hey. Listen to simple instruction. Park well and open the trunk of your car. Open the trunk.
Good evening, viewers. You're listening to CNC News, the station here, as you can see, in the oil region of Nigeria, the Niger Delta. Well, the Niger Delta just recorded illegal oil exploits, which has resulted in the death of at least two suspects. I bring him on here shortly. some food stuff in the house for you and your mother. I'm not, you know, I want that tip. I say, you don't come again, oh. No. Must we go over this and over again? Two months don't make it right. The fact that the government are not living up to their responsibilities doesn't mean you should take advantage of that. Look around you. I say, look around you. Where are the jobs? Where are the good schools? Where are the scholarships we were promised? Where are the infrastructures awarded to oil producing communities? Instead, our farmlands and rivers suffer from oil spillage. Our family and loved ones die of different diseases because we do not have clean water to drink. Let's look at you. You are expecting a child. Where are the free health care they promised us? I know. But this is a dangerous life. What if something happens to you? I can't afford to live under the shackles of poverty while I'm from an oil-rich region that funds the economy of Nigeria. Take. Let's say take now. We both know you need this. We're expecting a child and we can't afford to lack anything. Well, you promise to spend a day with me and your child. Mm. Hmm? Tomorrow, I promise. Not what you said the last time. I know the baby is due to come out anytime. I'm trying to save enough money so we could relocate from this place and get somewhere to start a new life. Get an enabling environment for our child. You've said that a million times. And I mean it this time. Hmm? Mean it. I promise. I promise. Waiting. I said, waiting. Oh, baby is kicking. Don't make me feel. <laughs> <laughs> my kicking. I said, my mama give me this bango. <laughs> eh? I'm collecting it when I come back. Sinya <laughs> bra. Time now money now. Abe abe mo 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 mo. Abe abe abe. Mama. Don't put me so they come back. 